It's not the Booch and Brad show. It's actually the Chelsea and Brad show talking about Booch Day. And I know Pat just wanted to say that. He was hoping to say Booch today, and he, he got to say it. So that's how he, it was supposed to be transitioned just to Brad's over here in the corner. But no, he wanted to say Booch. It's a fun thing to say. It is. <laughs> booch is fun to say. Why are we saying Booch? Because it is National Booch Day or National Kombucha Day here. I love that. Chelsea, this is really cool because um, I've been having wine in, and that's mm -hmm. supposed to be healthy for me. Mm -hmm. But now I like to have the uh, kombucha in with some of the things going on. But this is very healthy for us, and that's what people have to understand, that this is more and more starting to be something that people are doing the alternative instead of doing the sodas and the okay. sugary drinks. But this still has some sugar in it, but this wild tonic is pretty cool because they make it easy for you to enjoy kombucha. Yes, we do. So um, kombucha is uh, taking over the health world right now, and really, um, over it's really becoming a new um, functional beverage trend. So um, kombucha is really just tea, sugar and a scoby which is a, a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast and that ferments into a uh beverage that has beneficial acids, enzymes, probiotics, which is good for your digestion, good for your immune system. And um, we are a local Arizona company, woman owned, um, up in Cottonwood. Nice. And we are really excited to uh, share some of our selections with you today. So, right, first of all, let's just start right there. I'm sorry, but let's go back. Locally owned women. Yes. In Arizona. Yes. How'd that come about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really incredible. Um, our founder, um, it was originally an artist. Her name is Holly. She lives up in Sedona. Our brewery is up in Cottonwood, Arizona. And she originally um, was working with encaustic medium, which is beeswax. And she also was a kombucha brewer. And when she discovered that you could use honey instead of cane sugar in the kombucha making process, um, game over, right? Game over. <laughs> and that it, is com the <laughs> it completely changes the flavor profile of kombucha as well. From using yes. honey over sugar. I love it. That's why we need to save our bees. Save the bees, everybody. Save the bees, which yes. is so important. <laughs> that's important to me because I know I can have some of the kabuchas around because of that sugary that goes into it and stuff mm -hmm. um, when it's all going through. And then what I love is that um, she decided, you know, to bring this out in the different little flavors because that's the other problem some people have with kabucha is mm -hmm. uh, kombu kabucha, booch, I'm going to say booch, booch. Uh, is that the flavoring because it can be a very, uh, uh, hit you kind of like really hard at times. It can, it absolutely can. Um, traditional kombucha as I mentioned is made with cane sugar and that creates kind of a sour vinegary flavor profile but using um, the all organic honey that makes it sweeter, milder, um, a really refreshing beverage. Uh, all right, you got some here. What do we have? Let's go with the big bottle. Sure. Really oh, nice. you're starting so with have, the big guns. Oh, yeah, <laughs> So what is this right here? Right, so um, this is actually our 7.6% hard kombucha. We're just gonna blow your mind a little bit more here. In addition to non-alcoholic kombucha, you can make alcohol kombucha now too. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and speaking of that, you have a little quick uh, kombucha drink you have for us. It's very easy to do at home, right? We do, yes, absolutely. Um, so in addition to um, just drinking kombucha that is naturally alcoholic on its own, uh, we have the 5.6%, uh, which is now in our bottles and cans, and also our 7.6%. You can also do a twist on your cocktail. So instead of using um, a sugar, soda, anything like that, you can use kombucha. And I'm going to show you today how to use a classic non-alcohol kombucha to make a little uh, Moscow, Moscow mule or a mango ginger mule, well, as we'd like to call let's it. Let's how we do this. Super simple, really super simple. Yeah. So we just add a little bit of vodka. You're going to add in Pour your... all the vodka in there. It's, okay, it's, all right. We'll put Wednesday. the whole vodka. It's, it's Wednesday, Wednesday morning. We need this. Yes. Right. Yeah, there we go. And just a little bit of lime here. And there you go. You've got essentially it. a Moscow Mule, but now it's a kombucha cocktail, which is all the rage. And uh, that mixer is much healthier for you than your traditional mixers. Mmm. Not bad, right? Yeah, <laughs> nice taste there. Nice little fizz. I love it. So yes. where can people find, uh, of course, the uh, Wild Tonic? Wild Tonic uh, is uh, valley-wide. You can find it at Whole Foods, uh, Sprouts, AJ's. Uh, Press Coffee also has us in all of their location around the valley. So we really um, appreciate that support. Mm, thank you, Chelsea, for stopping in. And thank you, everybody, for celebrating National Booch Day with National me. National Booch Day. Booch Day. <laughs>